Good evening, good afternoon, and good morning. My name is Dr. Samang Chon. I'm the technical advisor of the PMTCT program of National Maternal and Child Health Center, Phnom Penh, Cambodia. This is my great honor to share with you the approach to integration of HIV, sorry, HIV into antenatal care services perspective in Cambodia. And first of all, I would like to express my sincere thanks to the organizer, the Coalition for Global Hepatitis Elimination, all partners working to support the PMTCT program in Cambodia, the Ministry of Health, the National Maternal and Child Health Center, the HIV program, the Communicable Disease Center of MOA, and all participants who join us tonight. Uh, here is the, my agenda. I will go through an overview of hepatitis B and antenatal care in Cambodia, the ANRS evidence generation and result, the incorporating of HBB intervention into PMTCT program, and challenge and opportunity and way to go forward. About Cambodia, as you were, you may aware Cambodia is a country situated in Southeast Asia with the current population around 15 million. And annually we have around 355,000 pregnant women. And the rate of antenatal care for these women who get at least one ANC visit is very high since many years ago. It's around 95%. The prevalence of hepatitis B among the pregnant women was found to be high, around 4%, and the children aged under 5 is around 0.6%. And uh, the MTCT rate of hepatitis B, the BAG um, from positive mother to children was around 10%. Antenatal care and hepatitis B vaccination in Cambodia was a strong foundation. Cambodia has introduced a BV vaccine nationwide since 2005. And then in 2007, we start the birth of vaccine. It means a vaccine to be given at birth at 6, 10, and 14 weeks. And according to recent data, uh, of the National Immunization Program, the vaccine of hepatitis B was around 73%. Cambodia also started the PMTCT program in 2008 by first formulation the National Strategic Plan to introduce the HIV into the current health system. Uh, and until the 2017, we have expanded to introduce uh, syphilis uh, testing as well into the HIV program. And also uh, at that time, the ANRS Taprom study was launched. And the objective of the research was to identify the effectiveness of a free immunoglobin strategy to prevent HBV mother to child transmission based on the detection of HBS antigen and HBE antigen using rapid diagnostic test algorithm and xenophobia treatment for those eligible, and early started vaccination for all infants at birth, it means within two hours. So the primary endpoint of the study is to estimate the proportion of active HBV infection in infants at six months of life evaluated by hepatitis B S antigen and confirmed by DNA. Here are the uh, protocol for the study. So we uh, include the HBS rapid diagnostic test at seven health facility and five maternity. And then if the hepatitis B is positive, we continue to uh, test with the hepatitis E rapid diagnostic test 
and if the hepatitis B and hepatitis uh, E antigen positive, we introduce the tenofovir uh, treatment and follow up at the ill delivery. We also provide the vaccination early birth for all children and monitor the result uh, six months after birth. As a result, we found that among the 21,000 pregnant women who screened, 6.3% were found to be positive for hepatitis B surface antigen. And among those, only 338 equal to 38% of that pregnant women was enrolled for tenophobia treatment. It is to be noted that the tenophobia element eligibility is based on the positivity of hepatitis B, E antigen, and also in case the hepatitis B, E antigen negative, but with the elevation of the ELT, more than 40 IU per lead, as the predictor of high HBV DNA viral load level. And so the result have found a uh, a well correlated between the using of hepatitis B E antigen and ELT of more than 40 with the viral load with the high sensitivity and specificity. Also, the research has proved that the strategy of early vaccination and xenophobia based on hepatitis B antigen and ELT provide an acceptable strategy to reduce the HIV transmission from mother to child. Among the tenophobia eligible group and the not eligible for tenophobia group, the rate of positivity among the children were found around 1%. It means 0.8%. 9.8% among the non-eligible group and 1.26% among the eligible group. So based on this finding, PMTCT program has uh, put a lot of effort to introduce the hepatitis B intervention into the existing program. Since the year 2020, a public health program for hepatitis B is developed. The negotiation, the discussion has been started to revise the national strategic plan, guideline, and operational plan to introduce the hepatitis B intervention. And as any other program, funding resources remain a big challenge. However, Cambodia was successful to get the funding support from the Global Fund under the Resilient and Sustainable System for Health to integrate the intervention for hepatitis B into the internal care services. It means incorporate to HIV, syphilis, TB, and malaria activity. And from the year 2021 and onward, we will finalize the PMTCT guideline and national strategy plan to become the triple elimination guideline and then start to introduce the screening for hepatitis B surface antigen in capital city of Phnom Penh with the tenophobia uh, treatment in case of available and also uh, introduce the hepatitis B vaccination for the children uh, after birth, it means within two hours. This is what's built upon the strong commitment, political commitment of the MOA for the triple elimination uh, strategy, which include the National Center for HIV, the pathology and uh, STD, and Communicable Disease Control Department of the MOA, as well as the active involvement of the technical working group for PMTCT program. So advocacy discussion 
is still going on between the MOA to get the financing for hepatitis B in the public health program. In terms of HBV intervention, we have also inter integrated into the existing health system and uh, strategy will focus at every level of health facility. At the health center level, we will screen the pregnant women at ANC services for detect the HBS antigen and give the vaccination at birth at the delivery. At the maternity of the hospital, we also screen for hepatitis B as antigen at the ANC visit together with HIV and syphilis and also provide the HBV vaccine to the baby after immediately after delivery. And for the hospital HBV services, we will conduct the evaluation for hepatitis B E antigen or uh, hepatitis B viral load or uh, ELT to determine the eligibility for treatment with tenophobia. And if in case eligible, we will start the tenophobia treatment for women from the 24 to 20 week, to 28 week of gestation. And also continue to monitor the mother and baby after birth. So the monitoring and uh, system will be uh, for hepatitis B will be also integrated into the HIV and CVD PMCCT program. But we still uh, have a challenge as well as the opportunity to move forward. So our future goal is to uh, commit the national scaling up. We mean to screen for hepatitis B antigen for all pregnant women, as well as the certification for hepatitis B, E antigen and ALT and treatment with xenophobia, with the aim to extend the care and treatment services outside the capital of Phnom Penh to other provinces where resources available. And also the financing of hepatitis B program is still a barrier as so far, the xenophobia is not yet available for HBV uh, treatment. And often patients uh, will pay around $30 per month at the national hospital. So further need to improve the affor affordability of xenophobia uh, treatment for af uh, affordable to all pregnant women who need it. We also need to continue and maintain the existing PMTCT program by strengthening or build the existing effort uh, for HIV and syphilis, as well as the technical working group to uh, further strengthen the intervention of hepatitis B, and especially to continue uh, the, to strengthen the birth loss coverage for vaccination. Also, the interdepartmental coordination and collaboration to sanction this program is needed, especially in the area of treatment linkage of positive hepatitis B pregnant women uh, into the public health services or program, and also data sharing between a national maternal and child health center and communicable disease center uh, need to be uh, sanctioned. Thank you for your attention.